In this video, I'm gonna talk about my top five favorite apps or websites to help with transitioning into a vegan lifestyle. Coming up. So recently I posted in the Facebook group, New Vegan Support Group, and asked what people's favorite apps and websites and things like that were. So these are gonna be the top five. First things first, I'm uh, making myself a little bit of lunch. Got some radishes and nice salad going right here. The very first uh, app on my list is Happy Cow. Happy Cow is nice. You can put filters on there if you want veg options, vegetarian, vegan. And a lot of these, um, I did notice, like you can get vegan through Chipotle, I'm pretty sure. Serves meat, vegan options available, yeah. So um, they need to update that on Chipotle because if I take these off, that should still pop up. But most of these places have the vegan options. It's just hard to find 100% vegan menu. But yeah, you could go into the fuel, let's see. Recipe, recipes which utilize whole foods and free of gluten, dairy, and oil. Shows you the location, you can get reviews and recommendations from other people, which is really cool. And you can also just grab directions by clicking. This is great, especially when I was in a place that was saturated like Seattle. We were surrounded by vegan option restaurants and this was a really helpful tool. Something I drink pretty regularly. It is vegan friendly, so this will do a whole breakdown. It says where it's from, phone number, email, URL, all that stuff. It gives you a history of the company and uh, shows you other products by founders. So because all day is a founder's product and you can see where it would not be vegan friendly. It hits the stouts, places where creams could probably be used and things like that and if it has gelatin and a lot of alcohols are clarified with gelatin then that would not be a vegan product. Woodridge uh, wines not vegan friendly. Active and natural fining agents include egg whites, milk protein, and icing glass or sturgeon bladder. Not, it, wines are extremely hard. Uh, I've searched for quite a few and a lot of them come up inconclusive Flip flop. Um, let's see. See, no matches found for flip flop wines. Flop wine chardonnay. Nothing. So that's not in the database yet. Sometimes it'll just come up inconclusive. So that is Barnivore. Then we have Is It Vegan? Is it vegan is an interesting one. It is um, basically a barcode scanner. And let's just check out this Dijon mustard. Just in case, maybe there's honey in it. Oh. And we get ads. So with Happy Cow and Is It Vegan, you're going to get ads. Uh, I know Happy Cow, you can upgrade and get an ad free version. I don't think this has an ad free version. All right, well, let's rescan that. May not be vegetarian, seven vegan ingredients. White wine may not be vegetarian. Okay, so this is really specific. Um, the white wine, and that goes back to Barnivore. The white wine that they used in this may have had gelatin been used or bladders been used for filtration and clarification. So that is true. If it does contain white wine, it may not even be vegetarian. So that's a tricky one. It's one of those things that vegan is about lowering your impact on animal agriculture and on the planet. So something like this, it's your personal decision to consume this product or not. Next up we have graham crackers. These are cinnamon graham crackers. So, oh, cinnamon graham crackers. It's definitely vegetarian. So 
so it is not vegan and now I have a time to add kind of annoying but it's still a great app because it gives you so much information and it's worth it anyway so it breaks down 26 vegan ingredients one vegetarian ingredient and that's honey that's another one where I don't consume honey anymore um, but other people in my family are actually vegetarian so they consume honey and things like that I stopped consuming honey it comes down to your personal perspective and decision on if you're going to consume honey or not Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen. It goes through each day you have recommended allotment of things that you should be eating. And if you miss out, it's okay. This is really a guideline to help you optimize your health. And really it's for preventing and reversing different diseases that are dietary related, which are a lot of them. Your diabetes, heart disease, some cancers, gout, a whole bunch of things that are diet related. This method can really help. You got beans, berries, other fruits, cruciferous vegetables, greens, other vegetables, flax seeds, nuts and seeds, herbs and spices, whole grains, beverages, exercise, B12, and vitamin D. So there's not a whole lot of fat on here and that's kind of the basis of this. You do get your fat from your flax seeds and your nuts and seeds, but you also get omega-3 from your flax seeds, so they're super important to balance your omega-6 and your omega-3 levels. Also note, there is no meat, there is no dairy, none of that. It is vegan 100% and it is plant-based whole food. So beans, let's check it out. Uh, hit the information button on beans and see what he's referring to. Serving would be a quarter cup of hummus or bean dip, a half cup of cooked beans, split peas, lentils, tofu, or tempeh, one cup of fresh peas or sprouted lentils, and then you have all these types and it'll go down the list of all the different types you can click on and find videos based on each type of bean uh, on nutritionfacts.org. That's uh, Dr. Greger's website, which you should also check out. It's a really good website. But this app specifically is something I'm following right now for my transformation. I'm starting a four month transformation where I'm cutting out a whole bunch of saturated fat and I'm working out again finally. Uh, it's been a little bit, so I, I wasn't happy with my weight, so I decided I'm going to transform myself. You'll see some results. You know, the results will speak for themselves. Beverages can include coffee, tea, water, all that. So since I already had two cups of coffee and water today, I've already hit on four of the beverages. Exercise, 90 minutes of moderate intensity, 40 minutes of vigorous intensity. And you can do a whole bunch of things. Just get up, start moving. That's the key. Vitamin B12 is super important for uh, supplementation uh, in a vegan diet. There's a whole bunch of information that you can read up on about b12 if you want i also have a little bit of uh, b12 info on my blog on tumblr and you can check that out if you would like about how lacto fermenting foods helps fortify them with b12 but that's not to say that you shouldn't supplement as well and i think that's more of what this app is aimed towards is making sure that you supplement in b12 because it's very hard to get adequate amounts from vegetables and fruits alone and then vitamin d vitamin d supplementation or fortified foods very important make sure that you get your vitamin d and then also get out in the sun and activate that vitamin d the physicians committee for responsible medicine you will see different articles from people like dr barnard um, probably Dr. Greger on here as well. So they do have join the kickstart right here, 21 day vegan kickstart. And that's the app I just downloaded as well. Really good information. You can have, there's a newsletter that comes out, a lot of support here, plant-based recipes, good nutrition, like breakdown, vegan starter kit, recipes, nutrition for athletes, which is a big one, pregnancy, because a lot of people are, uh, question, dairy and pregnancy and all that um, where to get all of your nutrition it's just it, this is an amazing amazing website different health topics that they have articles on alzheimer's arthritis breast cancer diabetes you know prostate cancer weight loss those types of things ethical science their research news they have uh, podcasts 
digest all that stuff. I mean, you could spend days just looking at all the content here. It is amazing. I'm actually going to go into diabetes and take a look because I know some people that have diabetes. Plant-based diet is a powerful tool for preventing, managing, and even reversing type 2 diabetes. And who is it? Dr. Barnard. So I believe he was one of the founders on this website, but it's just, this is smart. Even if you're going to a normal physician, I encourage you to tell your physician about this website and have them look at it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Throw a like if you liked it. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of vlog style, casual approach to doing videos. If you're interested in supporting me, check out my Patreon page. I'm starting to actually get some patrons going over there, so check it out. I will be putting exclusive content over on Patreon for patrons. You can also follow Alternative Reality on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Uh, go check it out if you want to see some content, pictures of while I'm like food testing, things like that. Just my thoughts on Twitter. Just tweet, tweet. I think they're better than, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Until next time, keep it green, and I'll see you in the next video. So I had to go get blood work done and everything this morning, but it's also my typical film day, so I'm shooting in this way. This is on my smartphone. It's probably going to be a little lower quality. But I figure I might as well throw in a few videos in this style also because really it's what I'm talking about that matters.